Hey, what's up? It's Seb from Unison, and thank you so much for purchasing the Unison MIDI Core Pack. You made a great decision, and I really hope that it helps you make amazing chord progressions and helps you gain massive inspiration. So in this quick video, I just want to walk you through exactly how to set it up and how to make sure everything runs smoothly so you don't have any issues and you can use the pack in the best way. So uh, first, I'm going to introduce myself really quickly. Then I'm going to show you how to set it up in Ableton, FL Studio, and Logic and also other DAWs. Then I'm gonna run through a couple of tricks that you can do with this specific MIDI pack to really make the most out of it. So real quick, my name's Sep. I'm also a producer like you. Um, I'm the co-founder of Unison. Uh, we started around two years ago and we've grown massively thanks to producers like you and we'll be in touch over the long term. I'll be sending you emails about, you know, helpful tips and also special offers and new stuff that we're coming out with. So hopefully we can have other ways to help you make better music, which is our goal. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> if you ever have any production questions, feel free to send me an email at sep at unison.audio. I try to get to every single question. It might take a little bit of time because I get a lot, but bear with me on that. So let's get into this walkthrough straight away. So when you download the file from either your email or your account overview, you're going to find the main folder and then you can go ahead and extract it. On a Mac, you just double click it. It'll go ahead and extract it without any problems. If you're on a PC, sometimes since there's so many MIDI files, uh, the default unzipper can't handle it. So uh, if that's the case, you can use WinZip or 7-Zip, which are two uh, free unzip softwares. You can just Google them, download them for free, and those work 100% of the time. So if you have issues unzipping on a PC, try either WinZip or 7-Zip. So after you extract the main folder, if you manage to take advantage of the discount and the bonuses in time, you'll have this exclusive bonuses folder as well as the MIDI Core Pack folder, which we did update for 2020. We took uh, the feedback of you know over 50,000 producers that picked up their copy. Uh, they wanted a little bit more efficiency in terms of workflow and uh, a little bit more organization in terms of major and minor. So we basically doubled the amount of uh, MIDI files in the pack to over 2,000. And we went ahead and made it more efficient for working in major and minor keys separately. So. If you have the bonuses, you can go ahead and extract this folder. Again, if you have problems on PC, use 7-Zip or WinZip. After it's extracted, you'll find everything in here. You'll find the MIDI Secrets PDF, which is really useful and you can use to uh, you know, learn some tips that you can use along with the MIDI. If you have the Synthesizer Serum, you can use these presets. They're key presets that you can use with them. And this loop pack comes with over 700 wave loops for 20 genres of music, which you can use for your drum sounds. And uh, the theory, theory, excuse me, theory blueprint will help you write melodies on top of the chords. And now for the exciting part, we have the main folder. So this is the folder that contains the MIDI core pack. So you can extract this as well. And inside you will find the README, which is actually also very useful. It'll teach you some basics about music theory for interest and learning, just the very basics, as well as how to best use the pack and some more information like that, as well as this basic installation setup guide. But I'm going to go through everything in depth to make sure nothing is missed and you can use the pack in full efficiency. So that's that. And then finally, we get to the actual Unison MIDI core pack folder. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up in Ableton, then FL Studio, then Logic, and other DAWs, and then I'm gonna walk through some tips that you can use with this pack. So in Ableton, <clears throat> it's very simple. You just place this folder on your preferred location in your computer, whether you want it in your downloads, documents, main hard drive, or any other location on your computer. After you did that, say that I wanted it exactly here. Then you could either press add folder to locate it or easier you can just drag and drop it onto your sidebar and it'll appear right here and you'll have all the chords and progressions ready to go to be able to use in your projects in fl studio it's very similar you can again place this folder on the preferred location on your hard drive and drag and drop it onto your sidebar as you can see i've already done this before so it'll appear right here 
and you can drag and drop the tri uh, all the triads and progressions onto your patterns. And please note on FL Studio, if you try to drag individual chords onto a, the same pattern, they'll get replaced. So in order to chain together different chords, you're gonna have to create a new pattern and then copy them over from that new pattern to the initial pattern. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, please email support at unison.audio and they'll get back to you within one business day. Now on Logic, let's go to Logic here. Uh, it's a little bit different, but also very simple. So first of all, in Logic, make sure you have advanced tools enabled. Make sure this is en enabled. And then you come to all files. And then the same thing, you place it on your preferred location, locate it. So when we get to the main file here, we'll find it right there and you can sort it by name so they're all in the right order. And again, here you go. You have all your chords and progressions right there to use. And on all other DAWs like uh, Studio One, Pro Tools, Cubase, Reason, Reaper, uh, all of them have a browser function like this. They'll just be placed a little bit differently. So again, place the MIDI core pack folder on your preferred location, locate it in the browser of whatever DAW you're using, and then you can use the pack straight from there. So now that we've gone through how to set it up, I'll show you some ways that you can use this pack, some cool things you can do. So since all the chords and progressions are in block format, uh, by the way, why we did that is to give you the most flexibility to play around with the rhythms and uh, you know play around with how the chords are structured so you can have the most flexibility with them. So let's go through something you can do. So with these block progressions, if you wanted to change the rhythm of them, you could make them shorter and then copy them into any kind of rhythm that you like. And now if we play it, it sounds like this. So you could do that to switch around the rhythms. And something else you can do is, let's pick another progression here. You can use an arpeggiator. All DAWs come with a stock arpeggiator. So you can drag one on there and then it'll make the chord sound like this. And you can also play around with the speed. So that can be cool with, you know, like plucks or stuff like that to really accent your tracks. And final quick tip you can do is if you want to easily create a bass line along with these progressions, you can go ahead and copy the progression onto a bass patch, delete all the top notes so you're left with the bottom ones, and this will instantly create your bass line. So we can hear it like this. So those are just three quick tips to get you started right away. Uh, the rest is really up to you. There's endless ways to use this pack. You can chain together individual triads with extended chords or drag in full progressions, you know, in both major or minor and really experiment and make really amazing music. So I hope this quick walkthrough was helpful. I hope it answered any questions or any confusion that you may have had in terms of setting this up and using it. Uh, again, if you do have any questions, please email support at unison.audio and our support team will get back to you within one business day. And with that said, this has been Seb from Unison. If you want to check out any of our other MIDI packs, if you enjoy this one, we have over 40 other ones uh, in different genres of music and you can go to www.unison.audio to take a look at those. Other than that, we'll stay in touch. Happy producing and cheers.